So what does a literature review look like? There are different types of literature reviews that you may encounter or be required to write while in graduate school. Literature reviews can range from being selective to comprehensive. They can also be part of a larger work or stand alone. A course assignment is an example of a selective review. It focuses on a small segment of the literature on a topic and makes up the entire work. The literature review in a thesis or dissertation is an example of a comprehensive review that is part of a larger work. Most research articles begin with a selective literature review to establish the context for the research reported in the paper. Often this is part of the introduction. Other literature reviews are meant to be fairly comprehensive and also to stand alone. This means that the entire article is devoted to reviewing the literature. A literature review that introduces an article can look like this. Here is an article about cognitive behavioral therapy. Here is the literature review. In this article, it is part of the introduction. You can tell that the introduction includes a literature review because it discusses important research that has already been published on this topic. Here is an example of a standalone literature review article, in this case, about employment. The article's title states that this is a review of the literature on the topic. However, not all review articles will have the term literature review in their title. In-depth review articles like this are an excellent starting place for research on a topic.